Hello everyone, welcome back to Trev Dog Gaming here on YouTube. This is the game Ark Survival Ascended. We're on the island map, season 1, now episode 60. Well, a lot happened between now and last episode. <laughs> so, ah oh man, I went down and I re kind of. I looked around again basically for more Terrazinos and. I tried putting down all sorts of things to um, help capture one. Um, at the end of the day, I did get one. I got a, a level 110 Terrazino female, but it, it, yeah, I I couldn't get any of the taming bases to really work properly. So, uh, gonna have to rethink that. But anyhow, so. You're quite right there. What are you? A level 20 male. Figures. Um, so, Teresa. I got Teresa. She's now level 169. Um, we need a lot of these guys, I guess. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna... I'm not sure. I've got a funny feeling I might have to extend the base out over the top of Maggie's base there. And have a large area full of Terrazinos. Because I need the Terrazino eggs, right? What's going on with all the animals getting caught under my base? This is getting a bit frustrating. Now I've got a trike and a parasaur. Yeah, anyway. Um, I might just show you something really super quick. I'll just jump on Andy and rush down here and just show you before it gets too dark. It might be a bit easy to see when there's a little bit of light. But um, yeah, we're going to get end up with a whole bunch <coughs> of ter Teresas, I guess. Um, so if I work on the... The idea that we need... Oh, man, it's going to get dark before I even get down there. Um, I need, like, maybe 20 Terrazinos for the boss battles, right? But I'm going to leave some behind at the base mm, for laying eggs. Gee, that stands out, that blue. Um, so, yeah, I could end up with maybe 25 to 30 Terrazinos. So, if you just want to get... Uh, a Terrazino to lay an egg, then, you know, honestly, it doesn't make that much difference if it's not high level. Um, you just, you just want it back at your base. I can see a pink parasaur running like nuts. So anyway, down here, two trikes attacking a raptor. Yeah, so I started off with some really simple kind of designs. Just putting down some doorways like this, and uh, the Terrazino yeah, just ignored it. I tried like a, a bigger door frame and it went straight through, so that was too high. Then I put one down a bit lower, some three ceilings in the middle there. Um, it kind of got stuck, but didn't really. And then the last thing was just trying something like this. So it's not um, not exceptionally well framed out, but I, was, I ended up doing it the opposite way around. I ended up being in the middle. And the Terrazino ended up running around the outside. but And then I kind of had to run around a bit to drop it to the ground. So yeah, shooting it was a bit easier, but... Uh, I thought it was like someone just turned a light on. But yeah, trying to get it to sort of, you know... I guess drop to the ground was very hard, very difficult. So I'm going to have to rethink that, because you know what? We're going to have to repeat and rinse 20-odd times. Anyhow... I thought I would um, show you something, just ate something just then, not sure what that was. Um, and while I was down there, believe it or not, actually while I was uh, taming the Terrazino, a, um, a Dimorphodon, you know the little birds, pretty pretty looking birds, um, was right there next to me, it was only level 20, so I think it was 20, it was very, very low level, so I ended up getting it, didn't name it, it's back at the base talking, having a bit of a chat with the two Maxes, um, not sure what they're talking about, but uh, yeah, I haven't got a name, I think, it, yeah, it's definitely a female, if I remember correctly, so that's not a bad thing, at least you've got a chance to um, perhaps get another um, egg layer, pretty certain Dimorphodon's legs. I was going to say, is there someone around here that's going to come in here and get This must be a reasonably high metric on. There's another one there. Holy 
left early, guys. That's a baby. Oh well. I don't think the baby's gonna do much to me. Alright. What's the drop got? Oh, we'll just snag all that. It's got a saddle. <coughs> Let's get back into this. Oh, there's two babies down there. Oh, sorry guys. Can't do much about it. Very busy, got lots of things to do, that kind of thing. Let's go back to base, check out what this uh, saddle was. So yeah, I've got a fair bit of building to do off camera here because I'm going to end up having a massive big area out the back here for the Terrazinos. Uh, let's have a look. What did I... Oh, I haven't checked the overrides yet either. Um, get some water. Choose some of that. What's the saddle? The saddle is... It's a scorpion saddle. Oh, man. I'm gonna have to rethink where I'm putting all my saddles too, because that's um getting a bit chockers, Trev. A bit too many, I think. Anyhow, we'll put our arrows back. Get some lemons. I need more chitin for um repairing some of my gear too. Uh hang on. Not lemons, it's citronol trev. Where's the citron? Is it right? Where is it down here? There it is. At least we've got some of the advanced uh crops going, I suppose. Oh, we also need, oh man, we also need, um, Mijo Berries. Oh, re remind me of that, guys, okay, I just need the Mijo Berries. Because these guys are going to take a heck of a lot of Mijo Berries. Did I leave any in trees, by the way? Ooh, I did, okay. Um, I don't know, I think I must have put about five levels into her so far, and she's already at 7,000 health. Um... <coughs> I'm not sure if you would consider a 110 Terrazino to be fit for battle. I was kind of hoping for 140 and above. Um, but she's still, yeah, a couple of levels upgraded in her health and she's already 7,500. She hasn't got the most fantastic weight, but apparently... Well, I had to make a, a saddle for her, believe it or not, she didn't have one. So let's just take her out. I wanted to do this anyway. Apparently she's good at getting thatch, I think. I think it could be wood as well, but mainly thatch. Let's see. No? 200 wood from one strike. What the... No, I think she's better at wood. I mean, instead of me coming out... Oh dear. Are you heavy or too heavy already? Holy cow. Oh, oh I don't know. Her level went up fairly quick. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's her doing a speed run. Look at her go. Man. Head down. Flying along. Yeah, wow, okay. So, she's fantastic at getting, um, timber. Alright, so can we, um... Sneak in here and still get off. Hang on. No, not the door. Not the door. Just wanted to get off the dino. Man! Alright. Let me see. Gee whiz, she is awesome at getting timber. And I do need the timber, so... That's gonna be pretty cool. I'll definitely be using her for that, I would think. But yeah, I thought she might have been a bit better at the, um... Collecting the thatch, but... Anyhow. Alright, I can do that a few times with her. Every time there's a bit more timber needed, I suppose. Uh, I do... I mean, I don't mind having her health up, because it gives us a bit more, um, protection, I guess. But, um, I might soak a few more into her weight. Okay. Don't forget, I've only just got Teresa, so she'll go up a lot more levels, even if I'm just leaving it here. Um, okay, there's something else. The main part of the episode was to show you Teresa and the fact that I wanted to test out to see what she was like at uh, getting stuff. See, this is this diamond. Um, currently level 14, I think, sorry, I think it must have been level 10. Either 5 or 10 when I got, got her. Oh, wow, okay. Uh, maybe put a few more into health. 
probably wouldn't be a bad thing to increase the melee. If you had like half a dozen of these in a little army, sometimes they can take down Rexes, believe it or not. Mainly because the Rex kind of can't bite them because they're so quick at uh, flying around everywhere, but uh, yeah. How's good old Doug going? Oh, he's still going. Oh, he's poop. Yeah, there's still a lot in there. There we go. Up it a bit more. How are these guys going? Oh, they're finished already. Uh, did I only put enough poop in there to do... See, this is why I need more thatch guys. I think I might have some in the cupboard, but... Uh, Maybe I did. I think I needed it quickly and I put some out. I think that's what happened. Man, we're going to have to expand the fertilizer farm, eh? So there's no fertilizer in there at all, but there's a bit of thatch in here. Let me just take everything of that out. So that can do with one. I mean, I think every time it produces fertilizer, it uses 50 thatch, so it's not that bad. See if we can keep this going. It's really important we keep our fertilizer up for the crops. We kind of haven't really used it a great deal yet, so I need more for that. Um, okay, so this is the narco berries. We've got four little crop plots in each corner. You know what? I might make these mijos, I think. Um, so I've got eight, so I can put two in each one. I was thinking, yeah, I really super duper need to get, um, probably just as important as the narco berries for uh, increasing our number of, um, trank darts. We kind of need to do the same for the mijo berries because we're going to need a lot of it to tame, um, high-end terrazinos. Now, we should be using kibble, right? Um... But I put a, uh, what was it, a couple of hundred mijo berries into the Terrazino. He was actually chewing through a lot of narcotics to keep it drugged, um, so it wouldn't wake up um, more than it was going through the mijo berries. And you know what? I don't even think I lost a level. Um, so yeah, it's not. Uh, I don't think that's really going to be a problem. Um, all right, so we're looking for Mijo seeds, so these guys. So don't forget, they're self-watered and whatnot up here, so um, we just have to pop a, pop a seed into each one, I guess. Uh, is it going to let me do it? Uh, one in there, so that's... Yep, seeded, greenhouse, there you go. It's a, it's a tad slow, but it still works. So one in there... Oops, don't punch it, Trev. Man. One in there... And one in there. Alright, so all four of them have... No, three of them have. One of them's taken a bit of time. There you go. So we've got our first four little mijo berry plants happening. Go and put our seeds back. I'm not sure what it is about the sound of the flies around the compost bin, but give me the willies. Um, okay, let's see. Over raptors, have you got any eggs yet? Uh oh, there's a fight going on. What's going on? What the? Uh oh, is there someone down attacking Maggie? Holy crap, there's something going on. What the heck? Uh oh, doesn't look good. I can't see what's going on, but it must be another. Hang in there, me. Hang, hang, hang in there. I'm not sure what level it is, but. Did it die? He died. Oh, good girl, Maggie. Awesome stuff. You okay? Oh, she went down about six or seven hundred health. There you go, put a bit more into her. What level is this thing? 45. Hmm. Gee, that's a lot of fish meat, Trip. Here, Maggie, you deserve it, darling. Have all that. And that. I wonder if I can just take the, um, the prime fish meat upstairs, maybe. 
Oops. This the doorway. Do I have much room left in the fridge? Well, I can certainly put that in, so that's a good thing. Actually, I've got a fair bit of that, haven't I? Prime fish meat. I should be trying to tame some of the animals, because I've got a feeling that's actually quite handy for taming quite a lot of different fish. I'm surprised the other animals didn't take off, but, um... Wait, what the? Where did I leave Andy? I thought Andy was just here. Did he go nuts because he couldn't get to the water? Where is Andy? Is there two of you guys stuck in there now? <laughs> Uh, oh my goodness. Probably should be carrying my spear in my hand rather than the pickaxe. Roger the Dodger and Deanne didn't move. Where'd Andy go? <laughs> he must have decided to go and land somewhere else and I just totally missed him. Where is he? Oh, he's out here behind trees. Okay. <laughs> Think the whole line of guys didn't move much, which is think. Thank goodness for that. They seem to be still in place. Okay. Yes, yeah, so that's another thing too. Hey, really would like to get the base extended out so Maggie's a bit safer in there. But as she gets a high health, so you don't, you just don't want like a couple of high-end megalodons or an alpha coming in here. She did well actually to fight, fight that thing off. What the? I haven't got enough cooked meat on me yet, there's tons in the fridge trip. Now I'm eating different type of meat sorts. Alright, let me drag that across. I'll swap these back out again. Gee, I went through that meat pretty quickly. I wonder why that was. Um, okay. We were about to do this when we were rudely interrupted, so what was it? I think I put levels into that over raptor. Oh, it's a turtling! Toil! Fantastic. That's our first turtling. Keep going, guys. I'm not sure which Cindy did that. But thank you, anyway. Um, some more weight. Three more weight. Normally, these are the guys that give me the eggs. What do you got? What do you got? One dodo. Two packy eggs. Oh, uh, I think off camera I did get another packy. I'm not sure if I've showed you that yet. Oh, another packy egg. Man. Yeah, so I've got um, I've got four now. So this one with the saddle was the last one that I got. Are they set up right now? I think they are. So there's one paddy and three pammies. Anyway, they're doing a good job. So there's a few more eggs, but yeah, we desperately need a lot of Terrazino eggs on here. We're not doing too bad. But yeah, that's our first turtle egg, how's that? So now we've got, what, 18 different types of eggs. Hmm. But yeah, I'd love to get more Terrazino eggs, that would be brilliant. So that'll be the plan, I guess. Um, I could use Teresa to kind of go out and get some more wood and thatch, which I, I still need for building and all that, so those cupboards should be full. But, uh, how many levels have you got now? She must be going up fairly quickly. Let's have a look. Another two. Seven and a half thousand is pretty high health, though. That's all helping, I guess. She's almost 700 weight. Um, she would still be good in a fight, I suppose, but, um, yeah, I'd love the, you know, I like it when the animals get up between 10 and 20,000, that's a lot more than that to deal with. Oh, what else did she get just then? She got something else, oh, 800 wood, man. 7, 18. Hang on. I saw something else pop in there. That wasn't rock or rot, was it? I don't think you could do that. I mean, a seed maybe, but... Hmm. Anyways, sorry guys, it's a little bit dark playing this at night. The moon moonlight kind of helps a bit. Oh. You can only get up right at this end, right? Yeah, okay. I probably need to put some sloped blocks in there as well. 
But yeah, she is uh, a little bit heavy. Am I going to get caught in here if I try to jump off? Yes, I am. Sorry, Teresa, we have to turn you around a little bit so I can jump into this space. Then I can come around here and collect some of your timber and whatnot. Gee whiz, even I'm a bit full here. About the bottom one. Is that full yet? Oh, almost. Yeah, she is so much quicker than kind of getting on Andy and going out and trying to do it all manually, I guess. So, for that, I'm really happy. So that one's now full. How bad is my... Oh, they're not too bad, I suppose. Put a little bit more in there, I guess. Really need to go and get some more min uh, iron as well, and I think... I uh, have to go and find another rich patch that we can take uh, Art to. See if we can get him to grab a lot more um, iron. You don't have any on you, do you? No. Okay. Wow. Almost one and a half thousand weight carrying capacity, Art. So Art was 135 when I got him. Was he? No, 140. I'm looking through there and seeing Carla instead. Oh, did Carla move? Oh no, she's there. Okay. Everything looks green. Look, she looks almost like she's blended into Stefan behind. What the? Are you still around? Is that that 20? No, that's a 45. With a baby? Where is the baby? I never get to see the baby. Like, this... This Triceratops apparently has got a baby. I've never seen it. Apparently it's still around, but... Oh, I don't know. Anyways... Yeah, so I'll definitely have to build an uh, extension to the base here to put all the Terrazinos along in a row. Maybe have two rows, both facing each other. I think that would actually work pretty well. What the...? You're not really going to go right up on top, are you? It's so bizarre. You have come back to your base and go like, why, why is one of my parasols walking around the place? But it's actually a wild one, true. I could tame her if I wanted another female, but I think I've got enough somehow. Should we go for that green drop? Probably. So, yeah, what have we got? Oh, we needed, um, we needed a little bit more thatch for up the top, didn't we? I was just thinking. Hang on. So, let's grab a little bit more out of here. Put some spare at the top. Oh, we didn't put poop in there either, did we? Man! So was it this last one that didn't have the, um... It didn't have the second amount of thatch. Uh, that was the fertilizer. This should be the extra thatch. So I'll leave 144 on me. Now we've got to grab some poop. Doug. I'm not sure how much I just grabbed, but grabbed a fair bit. Six in there. Six in there. Six in there. How many have we got left? Three. So, sorry, Doug, you're going to lose a fair bit of this. come back to get the rest, but we're going to get a fair way through this. There's six in there. Could always get a second Doug. Oh man, that was hard. That was a pretty hard battle trying to get Doug out of the cave to start. I really wouldn't be looking forward to that again. Uh, another two Doug, please. Can I request another two? Look at this, will ya? Just He keeps picking it up like crazy. That's... One of the best things ever when someone suggested that in the comments to me about getting dug. I had I was thinking of it but didn't realise that he was such a powerhouse at just picking the poop up instead of you having to run around and collect it and put it in him. Okay, so little little Mijo berries have started growing. Yeah, that they will take a while to get up and going properly, but anyway. Alright, very good. So yeah, the main aim then is to try to go around and get as many 
Terrazinos as we can, but we have to rethink that whole plan. How on earth do we... Oh, actually, what I could do is go over there to where I showed you I, just, I was playing around with the traps and just move the stone gateways around a tiny bit, like pick them up, move them around a little bit so... Because I think what happened at one stage, um, I had the gap too big and Teresa came in between the two stone gateways in the corner. I had to sort of, you know, move them around a little bit after she was knocked out and on the ground. So it was a bit awkward, but, uh, yeah, I've got to find a way. Just, she wouldn't, when I left the door open, um, I've seen other people do that, leave the door open and they get, get they come in chasing you and then they get stuck. She ha didn't want a bar of it. She didn't, she <laughs> basically saw through the door being open and went, aha, you've got a trap. So yeah, I'm not sure how that's going to possibly work. Unless I had another outer ring, maybe, I, I don't know. Or you left one side off and then had another one in your tool. Yeah, I suppose you could make a bit of a maze out of it. I could do that, make a fair few more of those stone gateways, which is not, not the cheapest thing either. Um, and make a bit of a maze and then kind of get her in, and then around a corner, and then maybe she won't pathfind out to get me. She'll just kind of hit the wall and get stuck. It's a bit hard to explain without me doing it, but I've got a feeling we're going to have to work out something like that over there, and then drag the Terrazinos over to that base. Um, there was actually a, um, there was a couple of animals in the way too, I had to kill them, what were they? I think one, one no, I think there was two uh, alpha raptors I had to kill as well, anyway. Always happens when I'm off camera doing a couple of other things, but uh, anyway. Alright, well, maybe we can jump on Andy and just check out this drop before it disappears. Here I am babbling on, trying, I'm trying to explain things, but um, yeah, forgetting about trying to pick up drops before they disappear. They don't really stay down that long. Yeah, haven't seen too many Terrazinos over in this direction. They've all been back the other way. And you wait. If I see a 150 level Terrazino, it'll be like... I think a fair bit of urgency to get stuck into trying to tame us, but... Oh, well, the only thing good about that was the oil. Really? Alright, back we go. Well, a little bit of maintenance in this episode, but, um, yeah, I really wanted to show you and explain what happened with the Terrazino, but, um, yeah, I need to keep making absolute, absolute tons of, uh, narcotics, because, um, I went through an awful lot of, um, trank darts. Had to make a whole lot more. I think I used up almost all my narcotics to make <laughs> to the drink darts. Alrighty. Oh, so in that case, so I've got a fridge almost whoops, almost completely full of narcotics, right? Ah, uh, sorry, of um, spoiled mead. So yeah, every time we make these guys. One spoiled meat, but I need five narco berries, so... Hmm. So I could make a few again now. How about we go up and see if all our narco berries have regrown? If they have, we'll grab a few more. Let's have a look if we've got much in there. Oh, yeah. I'll leave 99 behind somewhere along the line, but uh, the rest of them I'm taking out. Thank goodness the um, the fertilizer does actually last quite a while. Let's get some more spoiled meat. So I just need like 200. It goes so far. Uh, where are we going? Down here. So see if I've got enough space to put all these in. And we should be able to make another couple of hundred. So 100, 200, and that's it. Well, 201, but... Alright, we'll take that narcotics that's being made out. Oh yeah, I've got a fair bit still left in there. Oh, actually, hang on. 
I will um, split in half, I think. So yeah, we're going to have to go out and get more metal fairly soon because I need to make more um, simple rifle ammo as well. Could be a bit painful. Anyway, guys, yeah, I really wanted to show you the Terrazino. I absolutely love the fact that we've got one now, but uh, yeah, we need to make a lot more Mijo berries, which is what we've kind of done this episode. We've uh, well put it this way, at least we've started, I guess. She's got, she looks funny the way the saddle wraps around her head. Just looks a bit weird. Looks like she's got a big. She's kind of got a hat on. Yeah, when you think about how big she is compared to a parasaur, she's she's pretty big. She's at least twice, maybe three times the size, really. No wonder they're so good at battling. Especially with those long claws. Jeez. Anyway, guys, I will have to leave the episode here. I hope you liked it today. Hopefully, you know, just running around trying to explain what happened and where we're up to and where we're progressing, I guess, in the game. Trying to uh, start, I guess, not, you know... We've really got to start making, um, I guess, plans towards getting our boss battle army because it's going to take quite a few episodes to get them all in here and then trained up and leveled up high enough to take on the bosses. Anyway, all right, guys, I'll leave the episode here. If you enjoyed it today, please go and support the channel by smashing the like button for the video. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, you can mega help the channel out by subscribing. All right, everyone, thanks so much. Cheers. <laughs>